Welcome back. Shouldn't have seen that. That was kind of not the point. Um, I'm in the middle of picking up my mess, finishing up my projects, and shout to the wife for helping me. Um, trying to get a video out to you guys tomorrow morning of some of the hijinks from last weekend. But I think I came up with a cool little hack. So in the midst of whoop season, we have gone a little crazy creating hoops, LED hoops, hula hoops, and making a race course, hence the track that's being uploaded, or the, um, the video. But I think I have a life hack, and I think this could catch on. Because it's getting hoops in the yard, unless they're pre-bought and have legs on them, are kind of a pain in the ass. And uh, in the pursuit of creating and having fun, what we have here is a TV stand. I have no idea from what, what TV, other than being Samsung, um, what size TV it's from. I'm going to guess somewhere around 55 inch. Could be bigger, but who the heck knows. It's not the heftier one, so I'm going to stick with my gut and say that it's probably the 55 inch. So, you're going to go, well, why the hell use that? Um, do I have a hula hoop loose? I don't want to show you the good stuff that I've been working on. <sighs> Pretend I have a hula hoop here. And I don't have the height room to bring it in here. So, I tested out on one of the fancy ones that I created. And that'll give you the idea. So, the hula hoop sits here. And there's a little bit of lip, so I still may mod this. And add some, uh, like, rubberized material to bite down onto it uh, a little bit more. I think I've convinced myself of that already as I'm talking about it. So you strap the hula hoop there. It goes through the strap, which I cool custom cut. And then when it comes through, it wraps to the backside and locks it in. This thing's got a nice wide stance. It's decently heavy. I'd say five pounds-ish. If you're doing it in your yard, it'd work. I wouldn't suggest wanting a bunch of these and carrying it to a field to set up. But for the yard where I can keep this handy, um, I can put any size hula hoop, LED or not, because then I have room to strap the battery pack or lipo, depending on which one I use, to the back. Actually, let me grab a hoop. Hold on. Do, 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 do. So we got a hoop. We got a hoop. It's probably going to be in the way of everything here. But the hoop sits right there. Perfectly. And then we'll strap down. I can't put the... Eh, maybe I can. Hold on. Let me see if I split the phone in half. Samsung Fold Z. Yes, I can put it down. So, cool. All right, let's try it out. I'm probably not in the shot right, but you get the idea. So that... Nice and tight. Grip it. Hopefully, I wasn't shot. Boom! Hula hoop. And it's attached. It's got a good amount of tension on it, so it should take a pretty decent hit. You could fly your three. I wouldn't put anything bigger than a three inch shot. It would. You could fly a five inch, obviously, easily through that, but hitting it would knock it over where this thing's not going to go anywhere. It's pretty st sturdy. So I'm very happy. So I'm going to call that, I guess, a, a hoop, whoop, hack. I don't know. But let me know what you think. Because I know, you know, at one point I had like three or four of these things sitting around from TVs I've had through the years. Or buying TVs for the kids and whatnot. And I probably still have one floating around somewhere. So I'm going to probably, if I do, come up and do that also. Because that just saves me making some crazy stands in the yards. Because you don't want to attach too many things to these. You want to kind of keep it simple so that is my cool life hack for the night for making a hoop whoop for your course you can set that around anywhere and uh it'll work so short and simple peace out